the Ransai region, a land of Pokemon and warriors, and the ties that bind them. Conquer all 17 kingdoms and the legend of Ransai. will be reborn. Become a warlord. Link with Pokemon. And let the battle begin. Let's go. What's good, my dudes, dudettes, and folks of other dispositions? Um, allow me to introduce you to what is widely considered one of the best Pokemon spin-off games. Uh, it's one of those games that feels like it shouldn't exist because it's a mix and match of a few different games. Folks mainly consider it to be Pokemon plus Fire Emblem, where the battles take place on a grid and your positioning has a lot of importance. But there's also an element of that well-known board game Risk, where you have military prowess and you take territories on a world map, usually Earth. Uh, whoops, give me a second here, just uh, apparently needs a little bit of attention. Uh, finally, all the human characters, which we got a little taste of on that last screen, apparently I can't go back, um, are from a game that's simply called Samurai Warriors, which I've never played, but... Uh, they're based off of the character designs on that game, which are based on real historical warriors and samurais from the Sengoku period of Japan. So if you know the, your Japanese history, there's a little bit of a, uh, an extra element in there. Uh, sadly, I, I do not, so I, I will miss out on, uh, on that. So I do have an old save file. I've tried everything in my power to get rid of it. Uh, you know, deleting save states, yada yada, uninstalling the game entirely. I'm pretty sure the only way to get rid of my old save is to uninstall the emulator and reinstall it, maybe. I don't know, that's the one thing I didn't really try. But I really only care about getting through the main story anyways, so let's jump right in. Uh, I would like to continue. I will be a dude. Oh, what was the name I was going to pick? So... One sec. Yeah, so uh, when I played this game, I, I learned a little bit of Spanish, and I called myself Fuertes, which just means strong in Spanish, I'm pretty sure. Um, and it's I don't think it's an actual name. But I wanted to do a name that reflected that in Japanese style. So we're going with Kenta. Apparently that means uh, strong and vigorous in a sense. So yeah, Kenta. Not Nick. The Kingdom of Aurora. Hmm. Hmm. Ah! So, this is Aur Aurora's new warlord. Hmm. Hey, is that an Eevee? That's a Pokemon you don't usually see around here, hmm? Oh, speaking of which. Hey, you! You're Kenta, right? Aurora's new warlord? Uh, we're from Ignis. That's the kingdom next to this one. And we've come to challenge you to a battle. I love this friggin' citrus berry, man. <sighs> <laughs> Lots of grunts from our silent protagonist. Alright. Oh man, the adrenaline's rushing. I'm not used to playing this game and talking, so... It'll be interesting to see what happened. Okay, let's take off, Tet Pig. Oh, I'm in here too. I'll defend this kingdom to the very end. All right, two versus one. Defeat all enemies. Heh, <laughs> there's only one of you. This is gonna be easy. Aurora's as good as ours. Please wait. I'll fight with you. Huh? Well, the more the merrier. Join forces if you like. It won't make a difference. 
Is this your first battle, Lord Kenta? No, but I will go through the tutorial for those who haven't seen the game. Please, let me help you. Okay, first things first. Movement, like this, see? Okay, now it's your turn, Lord Kenta. All right, press the A button. Can do, move the arrows. Yes, I understand. And we wait, because we're not close enough to hit yet. So I'll go more and more in depth as the game goes on, uh, sure, but um, I, I do want to take this one a little bit slower, just in case, uh, you know, everyone likes Pokemon, so I want, I want the people who haven't seen this game to get uh, a good feel for it at its own pace. Well, I feel sorry for you, having just become a warlord and all. But you're going to have to leave that castle in Aurora before you even settle in. Their voices are probably changing. <laughs> Alright, here we go. If these people take our castle, Aurora will be... Alright, leave this one to me. Go, Jigglypuff. Do the double slap thing. So each Pokemon in this game, they only get one move. Uh, I'll remember this, you know. Don't think I won't. You deal with that one, Lord Kenta. You only get one move for Pokemon. Uh, for Eevee, it's Quick Attack. Yes, I understand how to move. Thank you. Not there, Lord... Oh, yeah. I, I was spamming, eh? Uh, you only get one move. You simply just move to the blue area and uh, fight the enemies like so. Quick Attack! <laughs> Huh? What? I'll remember this, you know. Aurora Castle belongs to us! Let's go. You're strong. Much stronger than they said you'd be. Well, what are we gonna do now? Lord Hideyoshi's gonna be mad. Never mind that. Let's just get out of here. I got my citrus berry after all. You link with Eevee, Lord Kenta. It's already so strong. You might just be the one. The one. What do you mean? Alright, so this is basically XP right here. Higher the number, the stronger you are. Simple as that. Alright, we've successfully protected our kingdom. You're a natural in battle, Lord Kenta. Oh, I'm sorry, I haven't introduced myself yet. My name's Oichi. I've been on a journey with Jigglypuff here. But, but, uh, um... If you don't mind, I'd like to join your army, Lord Kenta. Would you be willing to have me? Welcome to the squad. Th thank you. As a warrior, I will give my all in your service. But it is a worry. It seems the flames of conflict have finally reached Aurora as well. The Ransai region. An area inhabited by warriors, those privileged few capable of communicating wordlessly with Pokémon. In Ransai, there is a tale of yore passed down from generation to generation. If any one warlord can conquer all 17 kingdoms of Ransai, then the Pokémon that created Ransai shall reveal itself. And it might be Ransai, I might be butchering the name over and over again, but... Just have to deal with it. The warriors of the land all believe that this tale is true. Indeed, it is what drives them all. <laughs> As a result, countless battles are fought for control of the kingdoms of Ransai. Lord Kenta, if we're going to <laughs> if we are going to help you defend the kingdom of Aurora, then Jigglypuff and I are going to have to become much stronger. But first, let's take a look around the kingdom of Aurora. So I'll probably skip most of the tutorial stuff. Uh, I, w I won't voice every line. Uh, Lord Kenta, there's a... Oh! Move, you're in my way. I I'm sorry. There's a farm not far from here, Lord Kenta. I'm sure there'll be some wild Pokemon there. Let's go do some battle training. I don't know, maybe I will voice every line. <laughs> kind of having fun. Let's go. 
Dagger digger, dagger digger, da. So the music is, is inspired by Japanese music as well, which I'm not too familiar with, but I would love to learn more about, so. You're the warlord of this kingdom, Lord Kenta. Jigglypuff and I will follow your orders. So, what do you want us to do? Yep, yep. Alright, so... What I always like to do is make sure you know where your enemies are moving. You can see where they move with the red squares. Uh, Starly moves four spaces and then can attack at the next space. So you basically have to go five spaces. Oh, hold on. No. One, two, three, four. Yeah, five. So Eevee's probably better to stay in either this space or this space to stay out of his range. And Bidoof is a three. So right here is going to be good. We'll go one or one, one versus one. All right, Jigglypuff, let's do our best for Lord Kenta. Here they come. Oh, lullaby already. Do you know what abilities are, Lord Kenta? Eevee has one called Celebrate, and Jigglypuff has one called Lullaby. And so uh, each Pokemon has abilities like they do in the normal Pokemon games. They're a little bit different. You can always see... Uh, what they are if you go into info here, go to the Pokemon section and press uh, Y, it looks like. Um, for Celebrate, the Pokemon can move again after defeating an, an, an enemy. It's like a double move. Uh, it's really, really overpowered. Uh, and Lullaby is really good, too. Uh, Jigglypuff is a little bit tankier. Uh, I guess her defense is low, but she has a lot of health. Uh, so putting her in the middle of a bunch of enemies will often trigger a sleep response. Luckily, we got it. I think this is the earliest in the game you can get it. All right, let's try for... Nope, that was a miss. That's okay, she won't get hit because that Bidu's asleep. Here, we'll proc celebrate. Ooh, <laughs> wow, I'm having such luck. Critical hit already. I didn't drop a box. Um, and so XP is given to the person that gets the kills. I'm going to feed Eevee the XP uh, to get them a little bit stronger. So we're going to weaken Bidoof here. Because Eevee's going to be our, um, our big attacker in our challenge run. That's right, I'm going to do a challenge run. Uh... I'll talk about it a little bit later, but we're only going to use specific warriors for the playthrough. Eevee and Jigglypuff are both looking a bit stronger, aren't they? The bond between a warrior and... Yeah, yeah, I understand. XP. You and Eevee must be tired after that battle, Lord, Ke Lord Kenta. And Jigglypuff is looking pretty worn out, too. I think we should take a little break. If you say so. Advance. Goroku and his lot are useless! Losing against a complete beginner like that? They need to get their act together. I'm not letting them mess things up for me now. I've got to make the Kingdom of Aurora mine! Okay, monkey boy. Hey, do you want to do some more tutorial stuff? That place looks like it has Pokemon. Let's go there. Yeah, cool. <laughs> Let's go! We got a whoop whoop and a meowth. Yeah, look over there. That's a whooper. He can swim in water. Yeah, nothing too important there. Uh, so, in addition to abilities, the warriors have their own... Um, uh, what, are they, what are they called? They're like abilities, but you can trigger them. They're called something. Give me a sec. I can figure this out. Warrior skill? Yeah. So skills. Um, and each of those has a special ability that you also might want to keep track of. Uh, with our main warlord, Kenta, it gives you two extra squares of movement, which pairs really well with Eevee's Celebrate. Because now I just ran all the way up here and I can run all the way down here. It's massive. But I'm going gra to grab this box items. You can sell them pretty early. 
Yeah, come at me. Lord Kenta, you should use your warrior options. I'll show off uh, Oichi's skill as well. Oh shit, I said I was gonna go through the tutorial stuff for the speed for people that haven't seen it yet. Sorry, I'll try my best. I'm, I'm pretty used to just spamming A. Sweet Song restores HP of all allied Pokemon. So, um, it's often useful to use that uh, when things are getting rough. But for these early battles, I just wanted to show off that it was capable. It also heals Eevee, of course. Oh, nice. There we go. Advance the next month. So yeah, it goes month by month. Right now we only have two kingdoms, but this map will eventually expand. You there! You're Kento, right? Hey, Mitsunari, Masanori, leave them alone. Come on, Kiyomasa. We need to have a word with these guys, or they won't know what they're doing. Yeah, we hear you're training your Pokemon a lot. But what for? What can you two hope to achieve? I... I... Well, they're right, you know. You have to do more than just train. Eventually, you need to challenge another kingdom to a battle. If you win that, you can get some more warriors and Pokemon to join you. Strengthen your army and win battles. Those are the tasks of a warlord. But I'm sure you knew that much, right? Uh, well, I, Lord Kenta, if we really want to become stronger, we're going to have to challenge other kingdoms to battle. I think the time has come for us to make our move. All right, I'm okay with that. Hello, Hideyoshi. I hear you are a pretty prominent historical figure. And that's likely an understatement. <laughs> the Kingdom of Ignis. Huh? You're the warlord of Aurora? I never thought I'd see you over here. Well, two can play at that game. If it's a battle you want, I'm ready. Fine, then a battle it is, but Lord Kenta is going to win. <laughs> Aren't you a cutie? <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Ho ho! <laughs> ah, <laughs> butchering lines, guys. I'm gonna keep it in. I'm gonna keep it in. Ho ho! Aren't you a cutie? I thought I could do with someone like you in my arm. <laughs> Don't call me cutie. I would never fight for someone like you anyway. Huh? Don't be so. Fuck. Don't be so hasty. Once you see me in action, you might change your mind. All right. My voice does not fit me at all. It's time for battle, don't you think? <laughs> Getting tongue-tied a little bit here. Let's go. Yeah, we'll take you on! Chimchar, let's go, I love Chimchar. This is the battlefield of Ignis. P pretty impressive, huh? The pillars of fire and the magma will stop you from getting near me. But my Chimchar isn't bothered by things like that. Ogie. We're just gonna rush. Oh, actually, I should be doing a little more strategy than that because I think his Chimchar can reach me. Oh, no. He could have, though. And here's why. Real quick. Yeah, look, look, there's fire on the fire battlefield. And it goes away. Um, so his ability, his warrior skill, is Quick Strike, which is kind of like Top Speed. Uh, top Speed gives you two extra squares of movement. Quick Strike only gives you one. And it has the additional ability to make enemies flinch. So if he wanted to, he could have stepped right here and hit uh, Jigglypuff with Ember, because Ember is a two-space move. You can see it in the left screen in the bottom right corner, uh, the little icon. The arrow is the Chimchar, and the square is where he can, where he can hit. Tepic also has Ember. Bidoof has Headbutt, which is a, a melee attack. It's right in front of him. Both of these guys have melee attacks. That's a little rundown of 
a little more stuff, but one, two, three, four, one, two. So Eevee could step out of range, but Jigglypuff can't. Um, but I want to draw the Chimchar back, so we're going to do this and have him chase us. Bring the fight to us. I've got big ambitions, you know. Ignis is just the beginning for me. Before long, all kingdoms will be mine. And we want to bring the fight to us because if they're in the field of lava, they'll have that advantage. So, yeah, go ahead and hit me. No burn, let's go. Alright, the baths restore health and cure status conditions. Let's try and take out this Chimchar first, because he is the biggest threat. That's not great. Top speed. Can we take out the Tepig? No. Hmm. I think we're going to go for the Tepig instead. Because we missed that double slab. Dum, dum, dum. Bidoof can't go into the magma. He's useless. H how can you say that about your own partner? Yeah, Bidoof's god, isn't he? Right then, how about this? Do you have any more citrus berries? <laughs> Activity. Oh, we got hit. That's actually rough. Alright. We're actually not in a great spot because I can't reach this Tepig now because the fire is active. So I can't hit him with Eevee. Um, and I can only hit one person on this Bidoof here. And that's not going to take him out. I think our best bet's going to go for the Chimchar right now. And we should, we should be able to, to survive taking a little more damage before using Oichi's uh, healing prowess. Whatever that's called, I can't remember. Sweet song, that's what it's called. Dum 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 dum. Dum 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 Closer than I thought. Alright, definitely use it now. And looks like she has a potion as well that we can rely upon. Alright, pop this Tepig. Get that Celebrate. Huh, what? I'll remember this, you know! And we will never see him again. <laughs> Sad. Ooh, overachieving. Oh, remember this, you know. Don't think I won't. Alright, uh, I don't really want to get him into blaze range with Jigglypuff, so she's going to focus on grabbing the items, because I want to grab all the items. <laughs> Most of the time, they're not really that important, but early on when you have nothing, every little bit counts. Um, oh, come on. Dun 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 let's see Yeah, so now that he's got Blaze, anyone who's not familiar, uh all starter Pokemon uh have the ability to boost their attack power of their respective type. Chimchar is obviously the fire type. When they're at low HP. Oh, that still didn't seem like it did that much, so. Whoops. Dun, 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 dun. Looks like he'll survive one more, but. Oh, never mind, Jigglypuff can reach. Puff gets the kill! <laughs> One twice. <laughs> Looks like they got us. Okay, let's get out of here. Ignis Castle is ours. Victory is ours. 
Pokemon 20. Nice. So once you reach uh, every 20, ooh, we got 20 on both, you get a move strengthened. So it's a big uh, power boost. And uh, it's every 20% link. So 20%, 40%, 60%, 80%, 100 Um, Yeah. My castle! How could I lose it? But I have made a vow. I will be the one to find the legendary Pokemon. And that means I will be back. I'll be back. Kenta's army has claimed victory. Hideyoshi's army has been defeated and has been forced to retreat. Congratulations, Lord Kenta. Your second castle. I'm sure we'll start making allies before too long. The only thing is, I don't know how. I don't believe it! You went into battle without knowing stuff like that? Ugh. I watched your battle in Ignis. You're impressive for one so young. But if you don't even know how to make allies, then I guess you've got a way to go before you can be con considered a real warlord. Blah, blah, blah. <sighs> hey, don't be like that. I wasn't making fun of you. Tell you what, I'll teach you how to make new allies, alright? My name's Keiji, by the way. Just come to Ignis Castle when you're ready to learn. All warriors have finished. Let's advance to the next month. And that's going to be where we end today's episode. Um, so my profound thanks for watching, as always. Uh, I appreciate your time. Uh, you know what to do if you enjoyed the video. And next time you can expect us to go make some new allies and stuff. But uh, in all actuality, we will be doing a challenge run. Uh, with Golden Warriors only, and we'll get into that next episode so you know what the difference is between a Golden Warlord and a normal warrior. Uh, yeah. Catch you next time. Peace!